Where, from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Where are we now? We are at the Lee Monument in downtown Richmond. Oh, that's a pretty impressive monument. It's, a very, it's on, um, is it Monument Avenue? Yes, Monument Avenue. There's like a bunch of statues. Yeah. Yeah, we're just riding around taking a look at things around town. We saw this the first time on the trolley last year. We took a city tour, so that was fun. And so we're just kind of going over some things that we yeah, got about five seconds to look at before, and now we got a chance to really look at them. So. It's hot. It's very hot. It's like 97 degrees out. It reminds me of when we went to Bedford. That's right. Yeah, it was hot that day, too. That was last summer. Yeah. yeah. I might walk on the grass and see what that plaque says. Yeah, I think we'll go do that. You're looking up, I thought they'd have a plaque out here, but there's nothing, nothing of any uh, real information. All it says is Lee. If you say Lee, you know, but you pretty much said it all, huh? You know what's really neat yeah, about this area? What? Are all the old brownstones that uh, are around here, the old homes. Uh -huh. The architecture is very interesting. I wonder what that plaque says across there. I don't know. We're going to have to walk over there and find I out. I think so. It's Monument Avenue Historic District Black Marker. So it's a National Historic Landmark, which means that the Park Service takes care of it, so that's a good idea. There's a nice shot, a nice vista in front of us here. Going back around to the monument. Well, the sun's a little bit better over on this side. So. We were not kidding. It is 100 degrees. In the shade. In the shade. In a city that would be wonderful to walk around in. So, we're not walking. No. First one in the shade a little bit. The picture comes out. Semi-circular. That's the statue of Jefferson Davis there. Some of those little uh, inscriptions on those two columns there, too, so we're going to take a look at that. The Navy in the United States. Yeah. Now, you can read that uh, exponent of constitutional principles, defender of the state, the rights of states, and something again in Latin. I'm not sure what it is. You're not allowed to go back in there anymore, I guess. So I was probably sleeping there or something. You know, that's what people do. So, uh, the Army of the Confederate States from Central Appomattox. Four years of unflinching struggle against overwhelming odds. should be occupied almost. I don't know if anybody's in there or not. Well, there's some lights on. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's a museum. I saw a little plaque earlier. You might not be able to see it. It says Monument Family Dentistry, and I took it to mean a Monument to Family Dentistry, but then I realized, no, it's actually just a Monument Avenue. Well, you know what's really cool? Keep this on camera. Right there, it's North Davis Avenue. Uh -huh. And so... That was Lee Avenue down there, so they yeah. must put the names of the streets according to the monument that's on it. It could be. Yeah. We'll have to. We'll uh, have to check that we'll out. We'll have to explore that law. Yes. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> so, we are not going to get out of the car because it's a little busy, especially with the wedding going on right there. Yeah. So anyhow, let's let's see if this is Jackson Avenue. Oh, that was busted.
Sorry, uh, Pathfinder of the Sea. Yeah. What the heck? M A U R Y, Pathfinder of the Seas. We're just like, gonna have to If look anybody up. knows, can you comment down below who Mari was, Pathfinder of the Seas? Because he just had a really big monument back there. With a big globe behind him. With a big globe behind him. That the globe was almost bigger than he was. That's right. Oh, who's coming up? Who's coming up? It's. It's. Yeah, Arthur Ashe. Arthur Ashe. Oh, well tennis that's player. nice. Yeah, the tennis player, Arthur Ashe. He was also really big though in AIDS research, I think. Um, I AIDS awareness. It's been a while. Yeah. Didn't he die from AIDS with a blood transfusion? I think. I think so. Yeah. That's another thing we're gonna have to look up. That's right. If you know the answer out. to that, comment down below. Just as a follow-up to the end of the, that video, I decided to look up Mari and I found his entry in Wikipedia. His full name was Matthew Fontaine Maury. He was born in January 1806, died in February 1873. He was an officer in the United States Navy, was an American astronomer, historian, oceanographer, meteorologist, cartographer, author, geologist, and educator. So it seems to be pretty much a Renaissance kind of man. Did a lot of things uh, regarding ocean-going vessels he was nicknamed Pathfinder to the Seas and the father of modern oceanography and naval meteorology. And later, scientist of the sea. His biggest work was the physical geography of the sea. The first extensive and comprehensive book on oceanography to be published. And so this guy did a lot of work. Obviously loved the ocean, loved the sea, loved everything about it. Uh, apparently devoted his entire life to its study. Uh, he was alive during the Confederacy, but um, his monument is not a Confederate monument per se. Uh, it is just a monument to a very brilliant and uh, a man, and a man who was ahead of his time, really. So, just thought you'd like to know that. I wanted to know that, so I looked it up, and so now I know and you know. Like and subscribe if you like our videos. We'd appreciate it. Talk to you later.